Hey y'all and welcome back. So I wanted to do something a little bit different for this leg day workout. Um, and instead of doing like the movements and explaining them in the description box, I wanted to do a voiceover. So you can kind of see what I've got going on and I can explain to you some things that I can't necessarily explain in the description box. So for leg day, I always like to start with a really good warm up and straight leg deadlift tends to be my, one of my favorite exercises. Uh, one, because I'm nowhere near my max on it. <laughs> I can do like 40 pounds. I used to could only do the bar, so we're getting there. Um, but two, I feel like it really just gets your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back. It gets everything really good and warmed up. And I also love the stretch that it gives in my hamstrings, especially on leg day in the beginning, just to kind of get them, you know, warmed up and engaged. So typically I do three sets of 10 to 15 reps, unless we really are going for like a lift max or a PR, and then we'll do like five or eight uh, reps. But for this, we're just doing normal everyday leg day. Um, so I wanted to give you each angle from the front, this side and the back. Um, and as you can see, I don't really go heavy. This is more just like a warm up. Plus, like I said, deadlift is not my, uh, heaviest weight movement thing. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now that we're all warmed up from those deadlifts, um, I'm coming over to the cable machine to do some weighted donkey kicks. This is probably my third favorite leg workout. Um, the push press or the foot press, push press, whatever we're about to do in a minute is actually my second favorite. Um, but that's beside the point. Okay. Anyway, um, but we're going to do some weighted donkey kicks. So with these, I try to start a little heavier, um, just to kind of see what my max is going to be. And then if I need to, I'll go lighter. I did learn a couple months ago after a very heavy leg day, um, where we did a lot of these weighted donkey kicks that were like pretty heavy weight. Um, I need to listen to my body a little bit more um, because I actually had my knee go out on me a couple hours after I got back from the gym and I'm pretty sure that these donkey kicks were the reason why it happened. Because um, I wasn't listening to myself, guys. You got to listen to your body. Don't just try to be swollen and jacked up and grow them gains. You got to listen to your body. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, and I will list for these foot straps. I'll list where I got them from or the link off Amazon. I'll list that below. Uh, they're really awesome. Um, you'll see here that, you know, they're pretty versatile. You can do a lot of different workouts with them. Um, I just strap them on and the very front strap at your top of your foot is where I link it to do my donkey kicks. Um, they're pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So after donkey kicks, we're going to do some inner and outer thigh stuff. Um, so with these foot straps though, they actually have like five points that you can hook them. Um, so you've got the top of the foot, the inside, the outside, the back and the bottom. So they're really awesome, um, to use. I'm rambling about these daggone foot straps. I'm not going to say nothing else about them. Okay. So again, we're doing 12 reps, uh, three sets of 12 reps, inner, outer thigh, um, you can also do a movement for your hamstrings where you lay on your back and you lift your foot up and down with the weights. Um, I was going to do that for this workout, but I was kind of limited to time and I really wanted to do um, the leg press, which we're going to do next. So with the inner outer thighs, um, just try to go as heavy as you can, but listen to your body. And then when you're doing the... Uh, not this movement, but the other one where you're kicking your leg out instead of going in, you can go up as far as you want. Um, I just kind of was like sweeping my leg. So right here. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just kind of sweeping my leg until it feels kind of unnatural. Um, you don't really want to pull because you can kind of strain that, uh, strain that muscle, obviously, if you're overdoing it. Um, but there have been workouts where we've been more um, forward, like you kind of lean forward a little bit more, and you actually sweep your leg up to where it's parallel with your hip. Okay, moving away from the cable machine, we're going to go over to the leg press. So I'm going to set the machine up to where the foot plate is closest to me and the back uh, where you rest your back is as far down as it can go. I almost want to be like laying down. 
So the first movement is going to be a wide set frog press. So feet are as far apart as possible, toes angled as far out as you can go. Typically, I try to aim for putting my toes uh, to the corner of the press plate. So once you get 12 of those in at your heaviest weight, go as heavy as possible, um, you're going to go ahead and do a single leg, almost like a pistol squat. So this, I did have to go down and wait just because it is single leg. So you're going to put your foot in the middle of the foot plate, toe angled. Like if you're on your right leg, you're going to angle your toe to the left. Left leg, you're going to angle your toe to the right. Uh, you're going to go almost directly on the hip, and you're going to isolate that side hip saddlebag area. That's what we're focusing on is really getting that side glute uh, engaged. So here you can see my foot placement better. This is the wide set frog press. I would prefer my feet to go a little bit wider, but this is the machine that we had to work with and I don't like my feet being off the plate. Then when we go to single leg, again, foot in the middle angled as far to the left if you're on your right foot or as far to the right if you're on your left foot as you feel comfortable. I do aim for at least 10 to 12 reps per foot, but if you don't want to go down in weight and you want to change to 8 reps, that's fine. If you're doing 10, 12, 15 on each foot easily, you need to go up in weight and down in reps. So just remember to isolate the foot that you're working and to disengage the leg that you're not because you don't want it to assist in lifting the weight on the leg that you're actually trying to work on. So the final uh, movement that we're going to do is an elevated weighted glute bridge or hip thruster, depending on what you call it. Um, I was struggling, like struggle bussing by this point. I was so fatigued and my poor hamstrings were screaming, which was a great feeling, but um, I did 50 pounds here. I probably could have done 40 a little bit better, but I just did 50 because, you know, gains and such. Um, your main objective here is whenever you come up to really squeeze those glutes. Um, I really tried to thrust through almost like pushing the weight off of me. Um, and then when you come down, you need to really control it as you're lowering. Oh, see, I about fell over. Um, you need to really control it as you're lowering. If you're easily going up and down and you look like you're just straight hump in the air, then you need to go up on weight. But that's it, guys. That's one of my favorite leg workouts. I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or want to let me know your favorite workout, list it in the comments below. Bye!